Welcome to the Atomus booth, NAB 2022. I'm going to show you the exciting new products that Atomus has got. The two exciting new products that we've got on the Atomus booth this year, uh, completely transformational in terms of the workflow that we can give to our customers from the product. So the first new product is actually a modular accessory for Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus. So this is a module that goes on the back, completely integrated, completely integrated module, uh, where we're now expanding the capabilities of our Ninja customer by putting this on the back. Now what this does, it's effectively the module of modules because it has SDI interface, it has the air glue sync technology, the long range RF sync technology, and Bluetooth sync technology all built in. That's this antenna here. We've got Wi-Fi 6 for the best of breed Wi-Fi connection. We've got Gigi Ethernet for internet connection over wired Ethernet. Um, and then we've got this, 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 this integrated solution where um, it really doesn't feel like a module at all. Now what this gives us is a complete gateway to a connected cloud workflow for these new products. Well, when we say that these now can connect to the cloud, cloud is obviously quite a generic term. Now, what we mean here is that we can connect all of our Atomos devices to uh, the Atomos Cloud Studio. The Cloud Studio is a whole suite of cloud services ranging from all sorts. So we've just launched with Frame.io for camera to cloud. That's one feature that you can activate through here. That means that we can record two files on here simultaneously. We can record a proxy file and a hero high quality file all on the same SSD, matching time code, matching file name, matching metadata. Because we're connected to the cloud, Atomos Cloud, and then we've, we've provisioned the service for camera to cloud, it means that we can immediately start shooting, the files are going up in proxy to camera to cloud, end up in your frame project, and can start to be reviewed and worked on straight away. So Hero file is, is a high quality, pristine file. So in this case, for the, the, uh, At the Atomos Connect is on the back of a Ninja 5 Plus. We can record the Hero file, could be a ProRes RAW file, could be ProRes, could be Avid DNX. And the proxy file would be an H.264, H.265 file. The proxy files will always be in uh, 1080 HD, uh, but you can select a different bit rate because you might want a really quite a high quality H.264, H.265 file, because that might be your file that you actually want to use for the end result. You could be going out on social or Instagram or whatever it is. Um, you can select a low, medium or high quality um, a bit rate, which allows you to really adjust your proxy quality depending on your network performance. If you're somewhere with a very poor network, you have a lower bit rate, obviously, and if you've got a higher, higher network performance available, you might want to go higher bit rate. So it really depends on how you want to use the system, whether you want to use it as a true proxy, or maybe you want to use that proxy as, as, as the final deliverable. Well, the exciting thing about all of our devices connecting to the Atoms cloud is that once we're connecting the device to our cloud, we can then hook in or connect to whichever service you want. Now, Clearly that could be Frame.io Camera to Cloud, or it could be file sharing. I mean, you could have your, your favorite file, file sharing service. It could be streaming. You could be streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. So the beauty is you could configure all of those, and you're not even limited to having one service. You could, you could be streaming to, to one service and recording locally on device on the other. So there are many different ways you can actually use the Atomos Cloud to configure the whole system. So we're also launching a whole new integrated product in the Connect range. This is the Shogun Connect. And effectively, all of the, the functionality that we've now got with the Atoms Connect module is built in in one integrated product. So we've got the Wi-Fi 6. We've got the Ethernet uh, capabilities for connecting to the cloud. We've got the air glue RF sync, the long range sync, time code and control, the Bluetooth sync for third party devices, SDI in, SDI out, HDMI in, HDMI out, cross conversion, multiple power options, USB-C, USB 3, which can be used in the future for external media, uh, a cellular dongle for LTE, 4G, 5G. 
And then this integrated product has a super bright seven inch, um, seven inch uh, HDR HD screen, 2000 nits. Yeah, so if you compare the Shogun Connect to the, to the Atomus Connect module for Ninja, uh, the differences are um, the Shogun also has an SDI out port, which is great if you want to go into another device over SDI, if you want to cross convert between HDMI and SDI. And we have the USB port. So the USB port is multi, multi configurable, it could be host device, it's USB 3, it could be used for, in the future, we can use it for mounting external media. Um, for an external dongle for cellular data. And we have extra power options on here. Rather than the NPF battery, we've also got um, a 2.1 mil jack for an external power input. Yeah, in terms of pricing, um, the Atomus Connect for Ninja 5, Ninja 5 Plus, that's 399 euros. And the price of the um, Shogun Connect, that's $1299. Both products are going to be available in June.